Hi, I'm Dan. I'm a technical trainer for the North Face for the north of the UK and Ireland. This is the Summer Series L5 Future Light Jacket. The Summer Series L5 Future Light Jacket has been designed for alpinists, winter mountaineers and Scottish climbers. Future Light is made out of a nanospun technology. This is a polyurethane technology spun at a nano level which allows high levels of waterproofness, incredible levels of breathability and introduces stretch which improves the comfort for the consumer. The Summer Series L5 Future Light Jacket is fully featured alpine climbing and winter mountaineering jacket. If you're an alpinist, this is not missing anything. Fully specced helmet compatible hood, wire brim peak, Napoleon pockets, fully stretched to make, maximize your reach when you're climbing. The fit on the Summer Series L5 Future Light Jacket is designed to accommodate some layers underneath it, which means it's more comfortable and versatile for your use in a broader range of mountain environments. At the North Face, we put a lot of time and energy into the fit of this garment to make sure that it fits the broadest mountain conditions possible. Having used the L5 jacket in Scottish winter and alpine conditions up on Mont Blanc, I can honestly say that this jacket is an absolutely fabulous piece of kit, but don't just take my word for it. Let's see what the Ellis Brigham team have got to say. I'm Theo, I'm the store manager of Cambridge um, for Ellis Brigham. Um, me and the team of guys from Ellis Brigham went up Mont Blanc recently for North Face. We were testing their new uh, Futurelight product um, and I had a fantastic time. Um, I thought the product was amazing, it worked really, really well. When it came to, to Summit Day, um, and yeah, we didn't, I didn't have any sleep. Um, I was up at like four in the morning and I just kind of had to get on with it and at some point it just became a, a, that point of um, just putting one foot in front of the other and getting my way up to the top of that. Um, I was really happy that I had the Future Light stuff on me um, and then that's what I was wearing because for me um, it didn't get in the way, um, it made movement so nice and easy. You, you just forget that you're wearing uh, shells essentially. Um, and you know, I could just focus on what I was doing and getting to the summit and finishing the whole thing off. Um, so yeah, I, I'm super pleased with it. Um, as someone who can be quite sceptical to new technologies, um, it's, it's really you know, impressed me. Hi, I'm Sam from Ellis Brigham in Manchester. In September, I was one of the lucky few to go on the Future Light testing trip to Chamonix in the French Alps. When we got out there, we got given our L5 jacket like the one I'm wearing now. The first thing I noticed how soft and how comfortable it was to put on. The next morning, that's when the trip really started to kick off. We met our instructors, we met the guides, and the first thing we did was we went over to Italy and up to the Torino hut. Once we were in the Torino hut, we had a few days acclimatising, and the main tick that we got, up, got when we were up there was we went and did the Agreed on Treads Bridge Traverse. It was a fantastic route with some sketchy moves and lots of exposure. Consequently, we were scraping our elbows against the rocks. And when I got back to the hut later that evening, not a, not a mark on it. After a few days of climatising, you obviously got to get down, so we decided we were just going to traverse across the Valley Blanche to the Agreed and Medee lift station. Once we were there, we got the cable car down and I kept my jacket on from the start and that morning all the way across the valley. The conditions were pretty warm because we were doing it in the middle of the day, but I felt super comfortable in the jacket. I even wore the jacket in Chamonix where we walked to the cafe for a bit of lunch. The next day, it's the start of the Ascent of Mont Blanc, we got the lift up and a little walk to the Tete Rousse hut where we stood watching the Grand Couloir. The next morning with a 4am alpine start, we headed off up, six hours of ascent, to the summit of Mont Blanc, which is 4,810 metres. After the, after the summit photos, it was again straight back down to the Guta Hut where we spent the night. The following morning, another alpine start to negotiate the Grand Corps. The testament to the North Face Summit Series L5 Future Light Jacket. It's a super comfortable jacket. I wore it all week when I was out in Chamonix, no matter what the conditions were on the mountain. And now I'm back, I'm really excited to see where North Face are going to take the Future Light technology.